Okay, folks, so what we've got today is uh, five weeks in the making unboxing of the, as the title says, Apple iPhone 3G. Um, now, this one hasn't actually been unboxed, I got it in Moto 2 shop uh, in the UK. Um, so, what you can actually do is, although you have to sign up for a contract, you can take this home, uh, fully shrink wrap and everything. So, I think they basically just give you um, a contract and your SIM card with O2. Um, so, what I'm going to do is talk about a few points first. I mean, a lot of people talked about this non-stop, so I'm going to go over the things I think haven't really been talked about too much. Um, first off is the GPS. Now, as everybody knows, you get unlimited data on the iPhone 3G. However, I mean, this is actually a question to you folks. Somebody will probably know, so if you just shout off in the comments or a video response, um, what data usage does GPS actually use? So if you're not in a 3G area, can you actually get GPS coverage um, and how is that calculated? So if you didn't have the data contract, could you still use GPS? So I'd like an answer down there, please. Um, in the box now with 3G, you do not get a dock. So that comes as uh, £19 uh, extra accessory. I don't know how much that is in the US. So I think it's about $19, so basically half price. Um, what's the other point? The original phones had a slightly yellow tint to the screen. Now, Apple said that was originally uh, to make the colours a bit warmer. And then I think they fixed that in a software upgrade. So uh, that's not a problem. I mean, that's one of the bonuses of not being uh, one of the first people to buy it, waiting five weeks to just let all the kings iron out. So that's good. Um, it's still only a GSM phone. So even if they did manage to eventually unlock this, you cannot get it on companies like Verizon uh, because they use a different protocol for the phone. Uh, and last but not least, it's supposedly, as Apple calls it, a, uh, a music phone because of its iPod features. Um, but the simple fact that it doesn't have A2DP Bluetooth um, kind of rules that out for me because if you if you have a Bluetooth headset with A2DP and you're walking around with a real music phone, um, you expect A2DP to be able to stream wirelessly to your headphones. Um, but unfortunately, the iPhone doesn't have that. So I think we're I'm going to stop talking now because all you basically want to see is the iPhone unboxing so I will quickly switch over, this is the 16 gig iPhone um, as you can see, black I was contemplating the white version but um, it, the reason I went away from it was if you get some scratches on the back of the white version and then the scratches get dirty, the dirt gets into those scratches and you can tell uh, that it's damaged whereas the black one you can't really tell so even though it will get the same amount of damage because it's the same type of plastic uh, it's not so obvious on the black one so I'll get straight through to the unboxing in two seconds. 